Greetings all, Vanny here for Virgo's Weekend Message. Virgo, I hope you guys are going to have a good weekend. What is flipped over in the deck? Okay. So for Virgo, we have the Queen of Cups in her upright position and Justice in the upright position. What I love for this is that I feel healing of emotional trauma. Something that has weighed very heavily for you, maybe an injustice or something, a betrayal of trust, of an understanding between people, of a secret being revealed before you were ready for things to be revealed. And that hurt has be, is being resolved or absolved. And I say that because we're not always going to get the opportunity of closure that we want, especially because the perpetrator or deliverer of trauma may not ever be in a place where they will recognize the hurt that they did. So we won't always get the resolve that we are looking for, but we can absolve our feelings about the situation as in you do not blame yourself for what occurred. You do not hold on to the hurt of what occurred. We learn the lesson, yes, but we do not have to be identified by that pain because when we are identified by pain, that becomes who we present ourselves to the world as. And that's why we make jokes such as uh, just like, oh yeah, girl, I am so broken. I am like a jagged piece of glass. If you try to handle me, you're going to get hurt. And we say those as self-deprecating jokes to try to make light or fun of our situation, but we further instill that mentality of that is who I am. And you are so much more than the hurt that has occurred to you in your own life. And I feel that there are Virgos that are coming to peace with that. And while we may not always have the opportunity for closure with that entity or energy that hurt us, we can still seek that closure in ourselves. And sometimes that is more powerful than getting the validation or recognition from the other party. And I understand this. I have a close personal relationship with someone who hurt and betrayed me when at a very young age. And there's a lot of weight that goes along with that because of that person's relationship to me. <sighs> the three of pentacles in reverse has come out. People will be trying to intermingle their work, their will, their mindset into what it is you're doing because you are actively changing pro programs and processes that have been in there for a long time. You do not have to accept and integrate the things that people are saying, especially with the Queen of Cups here. You have self-trust, self-value, and most importantly, self-worth, Virgo. And you, you can listen to the things that people are saying, but you don't have to heed them and you don't have to take them into consideration because they're just talking just to talk, some of them. And some of them are like trying to just incept themselves into whatever it is you're doing because you're doing something great. And it frankly scares them because they have no idea how you got to that point because you took steps that they didn't even know existed. And there are really only two reactions that people have to someone that they knew becoming successful. It's awe or jealousy. And I just want you to focus on what it is you're trying to build for yourself right now, Virgo. And even if that is just self-love, even if that is just you healing yourself, that is worth the work. That is worth the time and energy that it will take. Be, do you know why? Because you're worth the time and energy it takes to heal, to overcome. Yeah, you have a whole new beginning coming out for you. There's also another card. Where did it go? Yeah. Oh dear. My crown fell off. 
you have the magician that has come out for you. And I absolutely love that because the magician is one person who has mastered all four suits. And you do have the four suits being presented to you here. There's a sword in the justice card. There's the queen of cups, the page of wands, and two pentacle cards here. So there is already an inherent underlying mastery of these elements and of these workings in yourself. But what you need right now, Virgo, is the understanding that you can do this. You can change things. And that kind of self-trust and self-acknowledgement of I can do this, it takes work to, to achieve. You have the Wizard of Awareness and Deep Freeze in reverse here. I feel like there is going to be a shifting of awareness, a shifting of perspective, because we're not going to be stuck in these stagnant, low vibrational places anymore. We're not going to continue to listen to those people with those lack mentalities anymore. And actively shifting of where it is our focus lies, where it is our attention is being drawn magic stream you are connected to a stream of consciousness and an energy that when you actively tap into it has a greater more powerful effect on your life because this magic stream already affects your life every single day it is with the interactions that we have the brief and lasting it is with the past that we take the the intuition that speaks to us and the things that come across our path everything is connected to this magic stream when you are aware of the stream and you make it an active part of your life it has a more powerful impact one such way i have integrated this in my life is with affirmations of protection prayers whenever i go out and drive somewhere i put protections over myself my vehicle and my family so that we're going to be safe and get home safely with what we need and nothing more as well as the phrase what is the best that could happen for my greatest and highest good that sort of energy of let it be the greatest thing that can happen to me today because we often say what's the worst that can happen and we say that in a feeling of um hope of like yeah i mean it can be great but when you say what's the worst that could happen you know everything goes to shit because that is what you asked for you asked to be shown the worst part of the situation flip the script actively working with the stream actively working with the energies around you and being aware of that interaction with you can shift so much of how you see the world because you know you've unlocked a key a cheat code somewhat and this is something that everyone has access to the co-creation ability intuition psychic gifts the innate knowing the divination that i do here these are all things that we have access to we have to train and hone them like any other skill you have cleaning house at the bottom of the deck it is time to remove that which you are no longer in alignment with that which no longer makes you happy or brings you joy has to go because there is something coming in that needs space in your life. And so something must be removed for these new blessings to come in. So it's, take some time that you need this week in Virgo to find what does serve your greatest and highest good. What does make you happy and what does not. And don't be afraid to be your own judge, jury, and jailer. And be harsh with yourself to things that you have. And does it actually make you happy? Or are you hanging it on to a sentimental value? Or out of a guilt notion that someone is going to be angry if you throw it away. It is, at the end of the day, just stuff. If you do not need it, if it does not bring you joy, it does not belong in your home. Because your home has no space for anything that does not bring you joy. Have a beautiful day, Virgo.